This week, we hit the road on a quest for wild donkeys and discover even more. Garen and Ellie modify tanks for their new aquaponics build, and stay tuned for a special clip of Baby Azalea and her homemade mobile. We're off on an adventure. Road trip. Yeah. To see what we can find in Oatman. Besides oats, we'll man. Get some oatmeal there soon. Yes. You think they have got sprouted oats? No, sprouted donkeys. Yeah, they're known for their wild donkeys yeah. that roam their streets. So we're pretty excited. It's gonna be fun to see what we can discover, who we yeah. can find to talk to. Hoping to find some interesting people to interview, and hopefully they'll be willing to talk to us and let us know what's happening in their lives. <laughs> Shoot a little road trip. Well, hello. Oh, I see you're rocking your merch there, huh, baby girl? Oh, your little yeah. homestead merch? That's looking good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> For our grow beds and our fish tank, we got a couple IBC tanks from a local guy. We got them really cheap because they're filthy. So, a um, little bit of cleaning to do on them. We got our work cut out. <laughs> yeah, we do. I guess I should have grabbed the hand part. Oh, yeah. You don't want to muscle through it? I'm not really feeling it right now. All right, let's get the hand part. Okay, so I guess we take it apart first, huh? There's a lot of stuff in the bottom of this one. Wow. That is gonna be a mess. Whoa. It's like five gallon buckets worth. Yeah, it's pretty close. And it's kind of sludgy too. Mm. So maybe the uh, the watery stuff will take off and we'll save. Cause it's actually pretty expensive to buy that concrete pigment. Let's save what we can then. We have a Route 66 right here. It goes right through the middle of Oatman, so we're gonna go take a look. We have just arrived in Oatman and we're gonna go take a walk through the town. We drove through it to get to this parking spot and already it's so rustic and cute and cool, isn't it, Bri? A million donkeys, we've already seen like several. Yeah. Uh, we're pretty excited, this is an old town, so it's gonna be fun to explore it, see what's going on out here. When the miners came down to mine the gold out of the hills, they brought in burrows. When they were done and the gold had dried up, they released the burrows. And now we have a lot of burrows here. They are wild, so they can bite and kick, so be noted. Hey Bri, I found you a present. Do you do? Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> Back out bucket and our trowels. I'm just gonna try to scoop it in with this, see how it goes here. Oh, that's actually pretty hard. Interesting. Maybe we should tip it up. Oh boy. Prepare to get messy. How much is in there? Well, that's <laughs> the dogs knocked us over. The dogs, yeah. <laughs> we just wanted to um, dry our bricks, right? Yeah, yeah. That's we wanted a nice stain right there. Exactly. Cute boys. This is Fife. We're watching him. Oh my gosh! Look at his mouth. I hope it's non-toxic. <laughs> you can't get sick. You're not ours. Okay. I cannot believe I just did that. All right, babe. What you up to? We got 
got most of it yellow out, but there's still like a hint of it. So we got some vinegar and we've just been spraying it out and we'll wipe it down and it kind of gets it cleaner. Yeah, yeah. you can still kind of tell there was yellow in it, but it's not Perfect. rough. Yeah, I think it looks a lot better. It's not supposed to be harmful, so we'll just get it the best we can. It's gonna work. We got a little bit of a river. It should wash away with rain and it's not harmful, which is good. Brazilian. It's a little shirt that says, don't mess with me because my grandpa kicked me. Right here. <laughs> oh, we have to go in the Oatman Hotel because that's where Odie. Odie lives? The ghost. Oh, the ghost. Yeah, let's do this. Odie the ghost. What happened? He's got a room here. They have a room for him. I can't remember how he died. Oh, well, well, let's go find out, shall we? Upstairs, there's a hotel room, and we're looking in there because that's where Odie's supposed to be. The Odie Hotel is the home of Odie the Ghostie. Odie was from Ireland and lived here in the Oatman Hotel. He died in 1930 behind the hotel and has remained here ever since. He was known to be cantankerous in life. However, he is a bit mischievous but friendly since his death. Hope you get to meet him. <laughs> Start talking to all the different townspeople and they all have a ghost story. They not only believe in these things, they have stories of things moving or things out of place. Oh, is Odie in here? You have to look at the picture. Oh, there's Odie. Apparently, it's the nicest thing in the house. They were here. Well, we get new stuff in, so I was like rearranging some signs. Put a sign on the glass shelf over here. Ten minutes later, I hear a loud noise. I go look, and the sign is standing straight up in the slits of the floor. Like I had to tug it out. So now, when I put something there, I ask, "Is it okay if I put this?" Oh, here? okay. So far, he's been okay with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get to see Odie? No, but I heard a lot about him. We didn't see Odie or any other ghost for that matter, but you never know. <laughs> we headed back downstairs and off to the right is this room filled with dollar bills. As people come to visit, they sign a dollar bill and they pin it to the wall. Mom, what's with all the money in here? And they come and they just put their name on a dollar bill and put it on the wall and in there they've got them on the ceilings, they got them everywhere. Okay, hey, remember in the podcast last week we talked about doing a money floor, you know, with dollars instead of pennies? We now know where to go to get these. <laughs> And they're signs. Yeah, and they're signs. Wow. It just keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got it. Wow. You know a National Treasure when there's only a little bit and they put the fire on and it goes way back? Like, that's what I feel like right now. <laughs> I thought it was just that room. I think it even goes back further, doesn't it? Yeah. So they got these different kinds of honeys here. They have a wild mountain con, and then they have a pine wildflower honey. All honeys taste a little different from different areas, so it's, it'd be fascinating to see what these taste like. How you doing, sweet pea? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we got my mess kind of cleaned up, not really. There's one tank that's a little bit different from all the others. Most of these tanks are like this one, where the distance between the top of the rail and the bottom of the rail, a little over 12 inches. You can see this one, this one's more like a 10 inch spacing. Because it's the odd one out, safety first. What I'm gonna do is use that one for the fish tank because the fish tank is gonna be cut up a little bit differently. It's just gonna have the top cut out of it and I'm gonna use the whole tank. Instead of cutting the top off of it, everything is gonna look a lot more uniform and it's kind of what I'm going for. Top's off. I just gotta clean it out again. Try and save that and not spill it this time. Is this your last one? Yeah, this is the last one. And I gotta clean up some covered in red dye. <laughs> Dad was scouting throughout Oatman trying to find somebody who'd be willing to share a story with us on video. He walks into this little gift shop, he's wearing his dulcimer shirt, and it strikes up a conversation with Caroline Stewart. And there you have her. It's 
sweetest little thing that ever there was. Tell us a little bit about it. 2002, a windstorm knocked a tree down in my valley. And every man in town wanted the tree because it was big, but they deemed it impossible to retrieve. It had fallen across a creek, and it was over a gully, and it was on a hillside, and the butt was up against a boulder, and it was not a come easy tree, but Daryl recognized the potential of it. The man selected wood for the Martin Guitar Company because he could hear trees. Couldn't hear me say, honey, haul the garbage, but he could hear a tree. <laughs> so he smacked a tree with a rock and a tone rose, which is nice. Then a tone fell. That's really nice. And then a tone rose a second time, which is as good as it gets. So two weeks of rigging and slinging and doing things women do not even want to know their husbands are doing. He brought this to town. He cut into it. He knew exactly what it was. So I sent it out and it came back. 416 year old old growth Sitka spruce concert grade tone wood. Wow. So I said, you want to call Martin? He said, nah, there's enough guitars in this world. Let's just give it away to dulcimer makers. And that's what we did. And pretty much any time I gave somebody a bolt of wood, they gave me a dulcimer. And this one was made by Ken Bloom, the premier bow dulcimer maker in the world. He made this one. Now, you play dulcimer. I'm learning to play. Okay, yeah. this is okay. Except... This is a sweet spot and this is better. The original dulcimers were not all pretty and fancy and curvy like we see today because the Appalachian people that sell the Appalachian region weren't luthiers, they were farmers. This has more of an old European style, simple lines and a sweet sound. Oh, that's beautiful. That's well, amazing. thank you for giving us You're permission welcome. to put you on film and sure. you kind of do that routine and show us the dulcimers. Beautiful. Oh, I love this thing. Uh, I should have combed my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, I got everything cleaned up and I got the, all the tanks cut. So the short ones are the grow beds and the tall ones are gonna be, in this case, we have a duckweed tank and a sump tank. The other two tanks I cut into grow beds, so that'll be six grow beds in total. This is the fish tank, still a little bit tinted yellow. Shouldn't hurt the fish, but I wanna make sure that I wipe it out really good and clean out. That way there's no actual residue of it. Last thing left to do is cut all the frames in order to house all the plastic tanks. I got all the tanks cut and all the frames cut and put them all together just to kind of see what they'll look like inside the cages. And I really like it. I think that's gonna look super good and super clean. When it's all painted up, we got a nice red color to paint all the tanks and we're gonna leave the cages the silver and then all the growth in them, all the green growth. That's what we're hoping for. Before we left, Caroline had one more story that she wanted to share with us. She had recently suffered some losses in her life. This is my cat, Joseph. Aww. That's my mama. And that's my husband, Daryl. That's all ashes and glass. Aww. Aww. That's yeah, which I don't really know why I put her in that pocket because she did not get along with me. <laughs> 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 yeah, she does now. Uh, I don't know. Now. I haven't felt a rumble, but you never yeah. know. Beautiful. Wow. Thank you. She was really feeling down with all these losses. The donkeys are all around her, and this little donkey puts his cute little head in her lap. And that meltdown I needed, I did all over his back. I drenched the back of the baby girl. And that should have been enough, right? But it wasn't, because Kiwi chose me. He's my boy. He comes to me every so many days. He got me through the worst of worst times. And then, come the end of April, I gotta go back up to Alaska. So I kiss this little fuzzy bunny on the nose, and I say, yeah, and when I come back six months later, I'm not gonna recognize you. You're not gonna recognize me, but thanks for saving my life. And when I come back, that little fuzzy bunny is now a full-grown boy. I unlock the door, he stuck his head through the rail, he went, Whoa, she's back, and by the way, where's the hairbrush? This little boy would put his head on my shoulder, closes his little eyes, and his head droops like this. <laughs> Alright, crew. Alright, it was lovely meeting, so nice you. meeting you. Meeting you. Nice you betcha. Nice you you betcha. Yeah. You take care. I want to work. <laughs> now that everything's cut, I'm going to start sanding it. I'm going to pull the tanks out of the cages because it's just going to make it a lot easier. A lot of hand sanding in those little crevices, but I got them all sanded. I think that the paint's gonna stick really good. I hope it lasts a long time. We got cheap latex paint, so we'll try that out. If it doesn't work, then uh, lesson learned. They look awesome, babe. I'm so excited to paint them and get them up on the poles. Yeah, they turned out good. 
They're so clean too. <laughs> oh, you're just so cute. She's like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Diesel? Oh, yeah, oh, easy, oh. easy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Careful, boy. Do you boys. like Diesel? Do you like Diesel? She had to smile a little, <laughs> even with how aggressive he was being. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Brie, why are you putting out ice cream on the tray slide? Oh, that'd be so good, except it wouldn't really bake very well, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Mike Stevens gave me a cooking hack, and actually we've gotten this before, so it must be a common cooking hack that I only know now. <laughs> and that is to use a scoop. I think they're called dough scoops too, so I think it actually might be for this particular task. We have one, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Oh, I'm gonna have so much more time today, it's not even funny. <laughs> they look nice, and they're all gonna be the same size. Exactly. I like eating They look okay. like a little ice cream scoop. I love it. <laughs> All right. What do we have over here, Bryson? We were up at Oatman. There was some honey there. So every honey tastes a little different. First off, I'd just like to say, they look a little different. The pine wildflower is lighter than the wild mountain pecan. You wanna try it? The one that's rich the, in flavor? Oh, no, 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 we gotta do the non-rich one in flavor. Oh, Otherwise, move this up. is just gonna be water, right? It smells like honey. Ah, very sweet. Oh, this smells like honey. This one smells. There is like a molasses uh, smell to it as well, though. I hold guess. Up, hold up. Hold up. They both smell like honey to me. <laughs> do this one at a time. Yeah, I got my scoop. Here Dink. We go. Dink. Well, my honey palate may not be super refined, but it tastes like honey to me. That tastes like honey. <laughs> but I will say the honey that we have, there is a harsh flavor too. This is more of a softer, more appealing flavor. Instead of getting a new one, we're just gonna rinse ours off as we're filming, That's like true professionals. I'll just wipe it off on my shirt. Oh man, you, I mean, when you get it. Oh yeah, you man. Like, you gotta taste it. It's smoother. Oh, I see the rich in flavor. I'm sorry, but these just both taste like honey to me. Okay, you gotta nope. tell me what you're, what you're tasting. It's comparable to molasses in some ways. You're right, the more he says it, the more it tastes like molasses. This one, not so much. <laughs> this, one's, this one especially would taste great in tea. <clears throat> rich in flavor, 100% be made. Be made or not to be made? Exactly. That's the question. In wrap up, they both taste good. You know what's, <laughs> what? you could be a honey taste tester go yeah. around the world. Do you know that guy that tastes water for a living? That's his job? Wow. Who knew? I gotta say, I like They're both good. of them, They're and good. you know what? We're gonna eat both of them because how fantastic is that? Fantastic. Tea time. Well, that wraps up this week. Thank you so much, Caroline, for being willing to share with us. We sure loved all the stories. She's a very talented glass artist. If you'd like to check out some of her products, the link to her website will be down in the description. The merch design of the week is this donkey. If you'd like to get this on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, handbag, tote bag, and a bunch of other products that we offer, as well as all the previous designs that we've done throughout the weeks, there's a deal running right now, 15% off from now through the 24th. So if you'd like to take advantage of that, please visit our website. Thank you so much for being a part of our family, and we look forward to hanging out with you on Monday. Bye! Thank you! Oh, we can get all of us. Here we are at Oatman. So, and, I don't know, but it's beeping at me. And I walked right past my little boy and went, I love you, and walked into the store. And this little girl who knows he's not allowed on the sidewalk, come walking up the sidewalk, pushed up in the door, he goes, really? That's all I get? <laughs> and, oh, I forgot to tell you the most important part. You're just learning the dulcimer. Yes, I Has am. Has anyone taught you the booger strum? No. Five minute how to play the dulcimer. I don't know where you're at, I'm but. I'm just learning, yeah. Okay. So. I used to teach junior high students. Well, I actually taught all ages, but junior highs were my favorite because they knew what to do with boogers. What do you do with boogers? You pick them and you flick them. Okay, so this is pick, this is flick. Pick, flick. Zero, zero, four, four, five, five, four. Three, three, two, two, one, one, zero. Okay, that's it. Now, if you have more than one finger, great. You can chord it. If you got fingers on your right hand, you may pick it. But if you only have two fingers, now pay attention. We're gonna pick, we're gonna flick, and if they're sticky, we're gonna double flick. Okay. <laughs> that was it. Pick and flick. 
pick and flick. It's what you do with boogers. Booger strum. You'll never forget that, will you? Oh, yeah. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> you bet. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Minor stuff. Not minor is in its minor, but you know, clink, 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 minor, you know what I mean? See, they're too big, aren't they? Well, you'd think so, but boy, you wouldn't be stealing money in really, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Walking out with that, everyone's gonna know. <laughs> you keep seeing these kinds of signs around. Like, oh, some people spread sunshine. I hate those people. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, Karen, look at her. She loves it. Oh my gosh. You are cracking me up, sweet pea. <laughs> <laughs>